sometimes we might enter meat super heavy and sometimes we might enter a meat where we are not so heavy so we can't predict when it's going to come if it's come then definitely find it being considered a part of the powerful jamaican trio as sharika jackson shelly ann fraser price and elaine thompson hera are referred to by many is not something to be taken lightly in fact, they are among those who are currently at the top of the sport today, either holding records or breaking them. Compared to Thompson Hurrah, a five-time Olympic champion, and Fraser Price, a three-time Olympic champion, Jackson, a one-time Olympic champion, has only recently put herself alongside the two Jamaican legends. But that doesn't mean that Jackson isn't making her way to the top as well, as she, too, aims to collect more wins at the upcoming Paris Olympics. That she is, and she deserves to be. Well, Sharika Jackson still aims to cultivate her being a part of history, which she can do by breaking records and setting new ones. And that she intends to do this year, whether in the Paris Olympics or the Diamond League. While that may be her ultimate goal, fans have been waiting long enough for her to start the 2024 season. The Jamaican star skipped the indoor season and has instead chosen to open her 2024 season in early April at the 2024 Miramar Invitational in Florida, before launching her Diamond League title defense in Suzhou, Shanghai over 200 meters in China later that month. Because I did not go to world indoors, I held back my goals and put them on pause a bit, she explained in an interview. I definitely know them in my head, it's just to put them on paper and put that paper on my cabinet or fridge, I've yet to do that. I've yet to achieve an Olympic gold medal, so definitely know that's one of the goals I want to definitely achieve. However, shortly before the highly anticipated event, fans were disappointed to find out that Jackson withdrew from the Miramar Invitational, further delaying her preparations for the upcoming Paris Olympics this summer. No official reason was given, but a message on her Facebook page read, Never quit. Unfortunately, Sharika won't be competing at the Miramar Invitational this Saturday. We'll definitely keep y'all updated whenever the season opener is scheduled. President of MVP Track Club Bruce James affirmed that pulling Jackson from the meet was in her best interest. This is the right decision for Sharika right now, said James. Richardson, too, opted to skip the event at the Anson Sports Complex, which she won last year. In Jackson's absence, two-time world bronze medalist Seda Williams of Barbados took victory in 22.82 from Denmark's Ida Karstoff. Anyway, because Jackson chose to delay her season debut, she could have it at the Diamond League in China instead, where world 100-meter champion Shikari Richardson also entered the 200 meters. Although, she didn't turn up there either. Like always, a race between Jackson and Richardson is what fans would very much like to watch. After all, the rivalry between the two is palpable, mind you, only on the track. Off it, the two share a mutual respect for each other. This is perhaps the reason fans were disappointed when a tweet revealed that Sharika Jackson has withdrawn from the Suzhou Diamond League. Yes, again. The world 100-meter silver medalist never shared why she withdrew from the event, a move that has raised eyebrows in the world of athletics. Notably, it was her fourth withdrawal from her season opener in 2024, what with her earlier withdrawals from the Miramar Invitational and at least one local meet in Jamaica in March. Obviously, it is yet another delay to the start of her season. Well, this only means that fans will have to continue to wait to see a race between her and American 100-meter world champion Shikari Richardson. Well, they wouldn't have to wait too long if only Richardson competed at the recently concluded Diamond League meet in Marrakesh, Morocco. That may be a lost opportunity, at least for fans. But there's good news still as Sharika Jackson finally made her season debut. Admittedly, it was an unusually late start to the season for the Jamaican, but the 29-year-old finally opened her 2024 outdoor season in early May, with a 100-meter victory in 11.03 seconds at the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association All-Comers Meet in her homeland, and told Athletics Weekly recently that she's happy and healthy as she prepares to kickstart her Olympic year at the global level in the build-up to the Paris 2024 Games. She then made her first Diamond League appearance of 2024 at the 4th Round Elite Track and Field Athletics Competition Series in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh. There, the Jamaican world champion prevailed in her first 200-meter race of the season, 
Yep, Jackson won in 22.82 seconds into a 1 meter per second headwind. Jackson repeated as world champion in 2023 by running 21.41 seconds, the second fastest time in history. Much to fans' disappointment, however, it was over a field that did not include her primary rivals, Americans Gabby Thomas and Shakari Richardson. I think it was a pretty good race for the first race of my season, Jackson insisted after what was her first appearance in track and field's elite one-day series this year. The time is what it is. I tried to focus on my technique and execution. I think I did good. When asked what's next for her, she said, Next? I don't know. For me, it's only the start of the season. I don't know about the next race, and it's too early to talk about the events I'll do at the Paris Olympics. Jackson also expressed her elation to have competed against the strong field and managed to win the race. As most of you saw earlier, the Jamaican sprint queen clocked an impressive 22.82 to cross the finish line first with Ivorian sprinter Mabundo Kony finishing second in 22.96. France's Helene Peristo completed the podium after stopping the clock in 23.02. As the holder of the second fastest women's 200 meter time in history, her personal best of 21.41, just 0.07 seconds off Florence Griffith Joyner's world record from 1988, Jackson is aware of the high expectations as she lines up for the 200 meters. But her target for now, she says, is to clinch 100 and 200 meter Olympic gold and improve on her five medals from her previous games appearances at Rio 2016 and at Tokyo 2020 in 2021. Right now, we're just focusing on mastering the small pieces of everything we're about to do. We're close, but it's not something we're going into every race or going every session we're going to break the world record, she previously told Athletics Weekly. So what's next for her? Just so you know, Jamaica's Olympic trials are from June 27th to the 30th. Three women can make the team for Paris in the 200 meters. The trials field is expected to also include two-time reigning Olympic 100 meter and 200 meter champion Elaine thompson hurrah and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, a three-time gold medalist in the 200 meter, in addition to her seven combined Olympic and world 100 meter crowns. It is worth noting, though, that the Paris Olympics and the Diamond League series aren't the sole focus of Sharika's attention this season. Jackson, who revealed how her childhood struggles had resulted in her being very aggressive both on and off the track, is one of three Olympic sprinters to be featured in a Netflix sports documentary series offering a glimpse into their lives. The series, dubbed The Sprint, produced by Box to Box Films and in association with the Olympic Channel, also focuses on the lives of American world champions Shakari Richardson and Noah Lyles and will launch after Paris 2024. Now we have a lot to look forward to. While waiting, make sure to watch this to see how other athletes are progressing so far in the season.